welcome to World Rally Championship Part 2, and uh, here I am on the same screen that I finished the last segment off in, because there actually is one more menu that I forgot to show in the last segment, that is the Manufacturer's Cup. So, uh, here's that, I believe... Actually, I don't know how the Manufacturer's Cup works, hang on. Nope, I can't figure it out. It, it looks like... Nope, I don't get it at all. Somehow, Mitsubishi and Skoda are tied with four points apiece, despite scoring four and two points, their drivers respectively, and then Subaru has two points, despite only getting one point for Richard Burns. I don't know how that works exactly, so... Yeah, manufacturer standings, I don't fucking know. They award points. I don't know. I give Pojo the lead, at least, with my rally win, but anyways, let's uh, go to rally number two. They call Sweden the land of the midnight sun, where temperatures drop as low as minus 20. This is where the World Rally Championship moves to next. The conditions in the Scandinavian forests mean the cars need studded tyres to cope with layers of snow and ice lying on top of gravel. It may be the coldest rally of them all, but the competition is as hot as ever. So here we go, our second rally takes us to Sweden and the very, very, very cold and snowy International Swedish Rally. So, gonna do five stages around here, starting with day number one on February the 9th, stage one, Ramen. It's gonna be snowing, the surface is snow, snow-covered gravel, as the uh, in intro video said, and it's gonna be a 3.7 kilometer stage to start this rally. Here are our, uh... uh Here's our default setup for this rally. I'm gonna keep it at as it is, and let's get started with stage one. All right, here we go. Time for our first stage here at Sweden. All everything is white, Three, covered two, in snow. So one, let's go into go. the first-person view, like I said I would at the last segment. Or in the last segment. 50, so now we get to experience 50, this game or experience rallying from inside the car. See, the wheel is very, uh, in-car in wheel is very, very jittery. Uh, that, uh, that's just, that, that's no input from me. I'm not, like, shaking the stick back and forth. Oh, God, I need to get used to, uh, the, uh, lesson grip here. I'm trying to throw this car around as if I'm on tarmac, and that's definitely not the case. So, uh, pardon me while I adjust my driving. I'm actually going to have to slow down more for these corners and stuff. So you're all the snow and just s splashing against the car constantly. Oh no! Yeah, we're going wide and I think I hit a tree. Went over the bank. Pretty sure I hit a tree. Again, not paying, not uh, adjusting my speed to the uh, different driving conditions. Almost flipping the car. Holy crap. Okay. All right, I, I think it's uh, time to uh, like start concentrating here. Instead of just throwing the car around ev everywhere, I have to actually like attempt driving the car. So yeah, about that. Anyways, so let's just get it nice and smooth around the stage. Let's come to the finish of stage one. Am I gonna take the win? No, I'm not. Carlos Science is going to win stage one thanks to, ooh, got some nose damage there. Front bumper's a little skewed. So, there's your first look at the actual damage model of the game. Not too extreme. Well, depending on how shitty of a driver you are, but yeah, it's a thing. So, um, that was a pretty bad stage for me, but ended up second place by only 1.85 seconds behind Carlos Science, so. Not too bad, not too bad. I have four more stages to, you know, pass him and take the win. Not gonna bother strolling through the standings twice since the overall standings are the same as the stage standings, so. Time for stage two, Sagan. Again, snowing. And 4.8 kilometers is the length of this stage. Looks like there's gonna be quite a few hairpins, and uh, let's go. 
All right, here we go. Time for stage two, and it is snowing heavily here. Three, in this stage, so two, uh, one, this ability is going to be a little uh, lessened by that. Plus, looks like it's a little. It's either later, and like we're reaching dusk, or the cloud cover has gotten a lot heavier because quite a bit darker as well here in this stage. Let's just take it nice and easy. Try to drive the car like I know what the fuck I'm doing instead of being dumb. Like I always am. Alright, good first sector. So yeah, I just gotta take it nice and smooth. The secret to succeeding in the Swedish Rally is to just not push the car. You might go slower, but you'll also survive. And honestly, when it comes to this rally, survival is far more important than uh, any kind of result. Although, I, you know, I still want to win because winning is cool. You can also unlock stuff through winning rallies in this game, which will uh, show off at the end of this championship. Plus, you know, you're not the only one taking it easy around these uh, Swedish stages. So everyone else is as well. Thinking by uh, how much of a gap I how much of a lead I currently have in this stage. So yeah, you don't need to push because no one else is. Just make it through and you'll be golden. I have a nine second lead over Carlos Sainz in this stage. Holy crap. Making fucking Grunholm uh, making Grunholm look like the goats right now. In this championship. In the early stage of this championship. Carried too much speed through the left. Somehow did not roll the car. I don't know how I didn't roll the car. Holy crap. Alrighty. Not a damn clue how I rolled how I didn't roll the car. I was definitely skating on the side and on the nose a bit, but I didn't actually go on the roof. I'm pretty sure you are able to roll the car in this game, but uh, obviously I haven't done that yet. And those two uh, sectors of garbage at the end, but still ended up winning the stage by a lot, so not a problem. So let's uh, yes, submit our name for a record, do our quick auto save here, and I'm also going to uh, save the replay of the stage so I can uh, get a thumbnail at a later time, so let's do that real quick. Alright, continue. So here's our stage 2 results. We beat Carlos Sainz by 6.3 seconds. Tommy Mackinac in third, so... Looks like the top three battles going to be between, be between myself, Sainz, and Mackinac throughout this championship. Maybe. But there we go, I take the rally lead, 4.44 seconds over Science. Mackinac stays in third. And uh, we actually have six manufacturers represented in the top six here in the points. Nice. Only manufacturer excluded from the points, I believe, is Hyundai. Or, not Hyundai, Skoda. Yeah, because Kenneth Erickson has a Hyundai in fifth, so. Armin Schwartz in the top Skoda in 14th. Or 13th, whatever. So, there's that. Time for stage three, East. In day number two. This is a long one, 10.8 kilometers, so we got a bit of a marathon stage here. So, uh, let's go. Alright, here we go. Stage three is loaded, so time for our marathon. Three, I say two, it's a marathon. 10 kilometers one, isn't that long. It's go. only like, what, seven miles? I don't fucking know. I don't know the, uh, the, uh, uh, conversion from metric to imperial, so, yeah. Do what you knew. But this is, however, definitely the longest stage we've had so far. Out of the, uh... So is this the eighth stage now? We're done? So, there's that. It's nice, so I'm just trying to... Pay attention to where I'm going. Try to pay as much attention to the pace notes as I can, despite me constantly speaking over them. And if all else fails, just look at the top left of the screen at the map. It'll help. It'll guide me. So. Yeah. 
So I should probably mention something about the pace notes, but I don't quite remember. In what way uh, the pace notes go in this game. Alright, so it looks like in this game, because with rally games, pace notes are pace notes are always different. Some rally games, um, when they you know, rally games that have the number based pace notes, they will uh, some rally games will have the uh, lower number indicate a sharper turn and the higher number indicate a slider bend or and then some rally games do the opposite. This game does the opposite. So it looks like a basically a one turn in this game would be the slight bend and then a six would be a very very sharp turn. There's that. So we got a right two into a left four, and left four is a lot tighter, so about that. I think the pace notes go up to six in this game. I honestly don't remember. Like I said, I can't really hear, so. Because my own stupid voice, so yeah. Uh, we've been paying attention. Here's a five! And here's the crash. Luckily, these uh, these little ropes are very solid in this game. They act as just walls. So, otherwise, I would have been flying off the road, and uh, who knows where I would have ended up? Probably in not a good place. So, uh, yeah, that would have been that could have ended absolutely fucking terribly. Holy shit! Big jump over a bend. Once again, somehow avoiding rolling the car. I don't know how I'm... I, I'm gonna have to roll this car eventually, damn it. This game is fail race approved, I promise you. Plus, I'm just pushing way too hard. And I absolutely don't need to. At all. Also, my shifting is being very erratic, don't mind me. Again, having some troubles figuring out my shift points because of the digital attack, so, yeah. Got that. So, way the fuck down for this five. There we go. Very nice and smooth. Careful with the banks. Luckily, the, uh, the Swedish snowbanks of death and destruction aren't nearly as bad in this game as they are in some other rally games. Trust me, there's a reason why I call them the Swedish snowbanks of death and destruction. They're, uh... pretty insane in some other games. They will fuck your day up. And then some. Got this hairpin. Titan's hairpin. Pretty sure the pace notes in this game uses terms like tighten and loosen. Or not tighten and loosen, tightens and opens. Whereas like uh, if the turn tightens, that means the radius is being reduced, so you have to slow down mid-corner basically. So because the corner gets tighter and then opens is the opposite where the turn opens up. Yen and holy shit, sun shining in my face, blinding me. I can't actually physically see the sun, but boy, is it shining inside the car. And there we go, I win stage number three. Biggest gain in Sector 3, eight seconds. My goodness. Some of these sectors I just gain all the time in the world. Guess this is the way the cookie crumbles. So anyways, let's continue and get our stage results. Tommy Mack ends up second, beating Carlos Sainz by nine seconds. Wow. So, uh, the battle for second rages on between those two. Here's the rest of the results. And here's the overall rally results. Only once, nine tenths of a second separating Science and Mackinen now. With two stages to go here in Sweden. And here's the uh, rest of the current rally order. So we head on to stage number four, 5.7 kilometers. And it's not snowing for once, hooray! The weather is clear, finally! All right, here we go. Time for stage number four here at Sweden. Co-driving myself, give the nod to get going here. Yeah, here we go. 
The fourth state of Sweden. Oh, it may not be snowing. The skies are definitely not clear. Still very, very overcast weather. Snow could fall at any time. Again. I don't think there's like any like weather changes mid-stage in this game, so don't have to worry about any snow falling in this particular stage. And signs getting a slight advantage on me in the first sector, but stage is not one in one sector. Well, rally isn't one in one sector, so yeah. Oh, we are going over crest immediately into his tight left. Should have been a little more prepared for that, but I was not. It's okay, we made it through. I only scraped the barrier a little bit with my ass. Go me. Alright. Well, it's described as a hairpin, but it's more of a uh, 90 degree turn, so. A little bit of inaccuracy in the pace note there, but you'll have that sometimes. You have caution notes as well, over because of stuff like those big ass jumps. It's just general stuff. You should be cautious driving over. You know how much caution I take in driving over stuff that, like that, none, none whatsoever. Gotta take the call the McRae strategy. When in doubt, flat out, just fucking full throttle over everything. This is a very jumpy stage. That we'd somehow cross into Finland in this rally, because holy crap. Top for the final sector of the stage. Smooth. Hairpin. Up. Hill over the crest, then a jump. For our troubles. Very good. And we a long straight run here to the finish line. There it is. There we go. Another stage down and another uh, large victory for me in the stage. Most of that time gained in Sector 2. So I ended up winning the stage by 10 seconds, I believe it said, over Science. find out here once everything's finished saving. Yep, 10.3 seconds over science. So there's that. There's the rest of the stage results. And here's the current rally results. One stage remaining. Science extends his lead on Mackinnon back to uh, 6 seconds. Just over 6 seconds. And once again we have uh, six manufacturers represented in the points positions, with Skoda the odd man out. So, that's that's always nice. Anyway, it's time for our final stage of the Swedish Rally, Manjin. Once again, clear weather, 6.9 kilometers, nice, and uh, let's go. Alright, here we go, ooh, and we're doing a night stage as well, ooh. Three, so, two, ending this rally one, at night. Go. Got our lights and everything. This car actually have, yep, it has the, uh, the uh, extra lights attached to the nose of the car as well. There's that. Ooh, look at that skybox, that's a nice sunset. Beautiful orange sky. Very good. It's not quite full night, we're at dusk. Late in dusk, but yeah. So, that's cool. This is a very nice visual for the end of this rally. Must say. And I like my visually pleasing skyboxes. I mean, they don't matter, but when they do exist, it's very nice. As I always say, gameplay is the most important thing, as it should be. I don't give a shit how bad a game looks as long as it actually plays well, and I can make out what stuff is. That's why I play so many old games all the time. It's like, who fucking cares about graphics when the gameplay is good? I mean, sure, you know, it's nice to look at a pretty game while playing it, but, you know, it's not a necessity. Oh, 
But anyways, uh, enough about that rant. Let's just continue on this final stage here, Sweden. Uh, a little, a little cautiously. Flying off into the trees. I'd rather not see the forest up close. See the forest through the trees. Ha <laughs> ha! Driving through the trees. Jokes. That was a bad joke. Very long left four. Very long left four. Pretty self explanatory. It's just a long ass turn. Oh shit. Okay, that tightened up right at the end. I was not expecting that. Go me. Not expecting that at all. Whoops. Got way too much speed for that right. Go me. That was pretty terrible. And should be the final turn here. For the finish line. Okay, we got a little bit of a left hand bin, but not really. And there we go, across the line. Look at all those lights. You gotta, you gotta be able to see, man, these night stages. Like I said, rallying is like one of the most insane forms of motorsport. Actually, it is the most insane form of motorsport. Because of how just edge of control, like, it's ridiculous, okay? Also, I'm doing a manual save here. So I forgot to do it at the end of Monaco, so... I'll do that there. And uh, let's continue, because we are done with this rally. We won the final stage by 19 seconds over signs. Very good. That's the rest of the stage results. And then our final rally results, I take the win. By nearly a minute over signs, Mackinnon in third place... Thomas Rydstrom in 4th, Kenneth Erickson in 5th, and Didier Oriol taking the final point in 6th place. For Pojo, getting around Richard Burns in the last stage. So it looks like Burns had a pretty bad final stage. And uh, drop Subaru out, out of the points for this rally. So only 5 manufacturers ended up scoring points here in Sweden. So there we go, we are the International Swedish Rally Champions. We got our podium ceremony in the background. And here's our updated point standings. After two rounds, I have, of course, a perfect 20 points. Taking a win in both of the rallies so far. Color of Science, second place with 12 points. For with his two second place finishes, Mackinnon in third with eight points. Colin McRae in fourth. Did not score any points in this rally. But he's now tied with Thomas Radstrom, who has uh, scored three points. And then we have Kenneth Erickson, Arlen Schwartz. And you see the rest of the standings there. And here's the updated manufacturer standings. So I score another 10 points for Pojo. Ford gets 7 because I still don't know how these manufacturer points... I, I don't understand them at all. I really don't. But um, yeah, Hyundai gets on the board with 3 points in this rally. And uh, that means every manufacturer scored points except for Citroen so far. So, But we have 12 rallies to go, so there's plenty of time for Citroen to get on the board. But uh, that'll conclude this segment, so... Thank you for watching and stay tuned for round three of the World Rally Championship.